Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to find the 24 volt common terminal in a furnace. I get this question quite a bit in some of my other videos where people are struggling to find where the 24 volt common goes on their furnace. So I thought I'd finally make a video on this and just show you how. So here's a typical furnace control board. This is what it would look like. And most control boards will have a 24 volt terminal strip, like this green thing right here. That's where it is on this control board. Others will look a little bit different. And then there's furnaces that don't even have a control board. And most people that have that question, usually that is the case. They don't have a control board. They don't have this 24 volt terminal strip. And that is why they're struggling to find their 24 volt common. In most cases, the easiest way to find the 24 volt common is to go right off of the transformer. Usually the black and the white wires, that's gonna be the 120 volts. Black being the hot, and the white being the common, or the neutral. And on the 24 volt side of the transformer, you have a red and a gray. Usually the red is gonna be our hot wire, and then the gray is gonna be the common. In many furnaces, you can find out where the common goes by following this 24 volt common wire and seeing where it goes. In this one, it just goes into this big plug right over here. So you could use this terminal for troubleshooting. You could stick a lead in here but if you're trying to hook something up, then this doesn't really help you where this wire goes. So in this case, this transformer doesn't help us too much. The next thing you can do is find your thermostat wire that is coming from your outdoor air conditioner. And for most people, it's going to be a big brown wire like this with wires inside of it. Now, in most cases, this is only going to have two wires in it. But on this furnace, it goes into a zone panel first and then goes out through here. That's why you have this whole bundle of wires. If you have a bunch of wires, then the blue wire is usually the common. But like I said, in most furnaces, it's not like this. You just have two wires coming out that are coming from the air conditioner. You're gonna have one wire, you're gonna have two of these. One of them will come from the thermostat. That one typically has five wires. And you're gonna have another one that comes from outside that's only gonna have two wires in it. And those two wires are usually red and white. That's coming from the air conditioner. So in the case of this furnace, if we follow the blue wire and see where it goes, here it is, here it is. And it goes into this terminal strip. As you can see, blue goes into common C, right in here under this screw. So in this scenario, the common terminal is gonna be right here. So if you're installing something, you would stick the wire into this screw terminal from the bottom there, right over here. But like I said, in most furnaces, the wire coming from outside from the condenser unit is only gonna have two wires, a red and a white, looking like this. And those two are gonna to go to Y and C, common, on that terminal strip. So once again, you would trace them of course, you're not looking for the Y, you would just look where the C wire goes or where the wire from the air conditioner goes to the C. And that is gonna be your 24 volt common. So essentially, you're either tracing the 24 volt common coming from the transformer or the 24 volt common coming from the air conditioner and seeing where they end up. And one last thing I would like to mention is that if you're looking for that 24 volt common because you're troubleshooting with a meter, Instead of the 24 volt common, if for some reason you absolutely can't find it, you could just use ground or the chassis, the body of the furnace. So for example, if I put one meter lead on R, that's where the red wire is going. If I put one meter lead on R, that's gonna be our hot. Instead of the common, I can check the voltage by putting my other lead on the screw that screws into the furnace body somewhere. Just any metal screw usually will work. And as you can see, my meter is showing me 27 volts. And if I go from R to common, the 24 volt common, on my meter, I am getting the same reading. And that is how you find the 24 volt common in the furnace. I hope that made sense. If you still have some questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you mash that like button on the way out, and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, let me tell you about some remote tribe in the mountains. So a little boy in that tribe comes to his father and he says, Father, I've always been curious. Could you please tell me how do you name your kids? 
And he says, well, son, your two older brothers, when the oldest one was being born, there was an eagle flying in the sky. That is why we named him Flying Eagle. Your second older brother, when he was being born, there was a wolf howling in the background. So we named him Howling Wolf. But why are you asking me this, pooping dog?